Hey there guys, my name is Driftweeb and welcome back to the craft box. We gotta go on a bit of an adventure today. We need to get all the wood types, at least the overworld ones. So we're going to find our boat, wherever I put it, and we're gonna go find wood. I think I put it in here. I did, it's on my shelf. Come on boat, we're out of here. Man. Look how good our wall's coming along. And that dock? Woo! Love it. If you want to see more stuff like that, or stuff like this video, make sure you're subscribed. It would mean a lot to me. Hopefully our trip goes well. Update. Trip is not going well. I accidentally threw my axe in the ocean somewhere, and I couldn't find it. And Zeno found it. So now we're at his house to try and get our axe back. Said he put it in a chest by his rail that like runs back to spawn. So hopefully I can find it. I'm pretty sure this is his spot. Hey, this looks like a rail. Drift weaves it. There it is. Oh, I never thought I'd see it again. Let's put this sign away. Well, we're gonna leave him a sign for being such a good guy and all that, you know. He didn't have to find our ex. He could have let it despawn. Or just kept it, but he gave it back. I can't spell y'all, sorry. We're trying out the cart. It's gonna take us back to spawn. I haven't been there forever. This rail's slow. Hey, bamboo. That's technically a wood type now. We're gonna need that one. I don't know what we'll use it for, but it'll come in handy eventually, I'm sure. Um, I don't know how to get out of this cart. I need to go up there. Oh, look at rail ends. Ooh, thanks. We found some bamboo. Oh, and it's at spawn. Neat. Whoever this is, I'm taking it. Thank you for your contributions to the hive. Much appreciated. I wanna look around here for a minute. What are these? Spawn donations? Support your local ore fathers? No. That sounds like a bad thing to do. Yeah, support the mafia. A dumb idea. Here's a sign for you. Delete all this. Not thank you so much. It's gonna be some propaganda. Always watching. Yeah. We should sign it. From the H I V E. Perfect. That'll get the point across. Away we go. We have come across E Rich Gaming's spot, and he has mangroves. So I have stolen a sapling, but he also said he would give me some. So he's bringing me a couple. Look at that. Give me them saplings. Ooh, thanks. We got mangroves. Check that one off our list of things we need. Back to the boat. So, ADHD has kicked in. We have found some coral reefs and like some warm ocean stuff. And now I wanna try to find sniffers. So we're gonna search this and hopefully get lucky and find some sniffers. I need those big dump truck boys in my life. I also want the plants they sniff up. So we need to set up a little bit of a base of operations on this here dirt island or sand island. Need some doors for oxygen. And let's go after it. So this is a process that took a very long time. It was a lot of Brushing, and looting, and brushing, and more brushing, and this guy tried to kill me. Pretty rude, but can't blame him. But then we did some more brushing, until we found this. All hope has been restored, because we have a sniffer egg. I'd really like to find two, but... I will take one if that's all we can find. 
this one sniffer egg is all the inspiration I need to just keep brushing the entire floor of the ocean. Nope. And nope. <sighs> nope. 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 Come on. Gotta be another sniffer egg around here somewhere. <gasps> yeah! Dude. Wither release. You guys are crazy. But I have sniffers, and that's all that really matters. You can keep your withers. I have sniffers. Haha. <laughs> I mean, I did find some pretty cool stuff down there too. We got all these sherds, and some emeralds, and a gold nugget, and a buried treasure map. We'll probably go sort that out, find out where it is on our quest for wood. And if we don't find all the wood types, we at least have sniffer egg. And that is kind of a win on its own. Let's take these home. And we'll go find some more wood. If this map is on the way, we'll stop and do it. The map was on the way. We're going to get lined up. I think it's right here. Oh, yeah. Right where I thought it would be. Ooh. Got some pretty good stuff in it. No diamonds, which is kind of a buzzkill, but I'll take the iron and the emeralds and. The TNT. You never know. The ore fathers might try and step to the hive and we might have to blow a hole in them. We're going to take that. We're going to trade this nugget for the ingots. That's just good stonks. Uh, I like my signs, but I don't necessarily need the dirt. And do I want water breathing potions? No, probably not. That's a pretty good haul. I think we'll call that enough looting for now. We got a full inventory. So let's take all this stuff home for real this time. Oh, let's break this chest. And maybe get rid of our map. That way, we don't get led back to the same treasure the next time we find a map. We're on our way home. Oh, help. I'm out of my boat. Uh... Yeah, yeah, we're back in the boat. This is good. Almost drowned in F5. You didn't see anything. Don't tell anybody. We found acacia behind us. So we got those. So I made some gates. Now that we're home. And I kind of want to get the sniffer boys all laid out. But I don't want them to go wandering off. So we're going to put them in this tower. Put those gates up there so they don't walk down into the mines or some crazy stuff. Grab their sweet little eggs out of here. Got another heart of the sea, which could come in handy someday. We're going to plant one of these boys. Is it planting? We're going to nest them right there. And we'll give them time. Let them hatch into the beautiful beasts that they will become. But they take forever. I should have put them on moss. I have moss, and I'm not using it to its full extent. I hear noises. I hear noises. <gasps> Baby sniffers! Look how cute! Oh! So, I'm probably going to need names for these guys. Because, like, they're part of the family now. And they got to have a name. So, drop on down in those comments and give me two names. And I will try to pick the ones I like the most. And maybe I'll put a sign in here with your name on it. Saying that you named them. Alright. So now we gotta build what we actually needed all that wood for. And we're gonna build like a barge. Like a small cargo ship. But I'm not thinking it's gonna fit between those two docks. So I might have to put it over here. Which I'm cool with. It's fine. It fits its ships. So, let's get going on that thing, I guess. I need to kind of decide where I want the lowest part to be. Like, that might be a good center. Maybe. I don't know. I kind of maybe need to scoot it over. We'll do some counting and stuff and see where we're at. Bring this forward. And try to 
find out where we want it to start sloping up for optimal water aerodynamics or whatever. Um, might be a good spot to start, really. I should really start planning builds out better. I just start winging stuff and hoping it works. And as you can see, I'm placing blocks and breaking blocks. Trying to just figure out what I'm doing with my life. It looks chaotic right now, but I promise it will work out. I think. All right, we got the outline done, I guess. Like a rough outline. It's going to change a little. because It's going to flare out just a bit. But this is the basic shape we're going with. We got to throw some blocks around this because I want the front of it to raise up. Like it's going to be flat through the middle, like almost at water level. But this has got to be raised up. All right, so we got the front part raised up so water doesn't go flying everywhere. Now I got to figure out the bottom. This is going to be the lowest part of the boat. And everything's going to go up from here. Oh, I'm drowning. Ah! Oh, I threw a block. Help. All right. <clears throat> I'm not the best swimmer. Maybe I should have got those water breathing potions. We got the bottom put in. I'm going to have to take that other row out because it's kind of in the way now. But that's fine. See from right here, all this stuff's going to curve. Going to have a nice rounded bottom. It's going to be good, but I won't make you watch it. We have a full bottom of a boat, but it's still full of water. And I don't have sponges because I'm still wearing iron armor and all that. So I'm going to show you the quick mode of me just throwing dirt all over in here. And we'll dig it out, and that'll get rid of the water. Poor man sponges. This is the last part of the first row. So, another question for you guys. What's your preferred method when you don't have sponges to get rid of a lot of water? There it is mine. One row down. Like, four more to go. We're done. No more water. This boat is dry. It might actually float now. And hopefully this deep slate stuff is coming across to you guys the way it comes across to me. It kind of looks like little sheets of metal. That's what I was going for. We got the deck in. Just went with a nice little spruce. Need to raise up back there, kind of like we did in the front. And we're going to put a captain's quarters cockpit section back there. Boom. We got the wall up back here. I want to throw some stuff up right here. Can you not put these on the ground? What kind of shenanigans is this? I can stick it to that. Not where I need it, though. This is my first time really playing with the hanging signs. I seen my friend Shen do like a wall or like a railing out of these. I kind of want to try and do it on my boat. But... I seem to not be able to stick it to the stair, so I gotta figure something out. We'll put a log down. But if I break that log, will the sign stay there? Or will it be like the lanterns and break when it has nothing to stick to? Alright, let's find out. Hey, they stayed. Cool. I like the way that looks. I don't know if I should go all the way down the side with it, though. Maybe just most of the way? Yeah, I think we'll bring them that far. And then we'll do some trap doors. Maybe some spruce ones. We'll do those so we can flip stuff down and unload the ship. And all that fun hoopla. Yeah, like we'll put these right here. That way you can get off the boat and unload the boat. Flip those up. Got that side done. And this is the deck space we're working with. Not too shabby. And now we're going to start on the captain's quarters and cockpit area. We will go through and get our corners marked out with some of these spruce logs. And then we will go through and fill out the inside of it. Over two down here. 
And that might come out too far. Let's back it up just a little. Slap them down right there. Oh, there. Now we're going to do a birch to oak kind of fade. I'll show you what I mean. We'll get all this first layer thrown in real fast and then I'll show you the bigger picture. I have a thought in my head, but I don't know how well it's going to turn out, so I guess we'll see. It might not come across the way I intend it. So here it is. We got the birch on the bottom going up into the oak. Kind of like the salt water has splashed up on the deck and like bleached the wood, I guess, kind of, if that makes sense. We're doing spruce for the roof because you know your boy likes some spruce. I've been using a lot of dark oak lately. And it's really hurt my feelings. But spruce doesn't really match the castle vibes. So I'm going to use spruce where I can. And you can't stop me. I mean, you could try. But it won't work. Last row. We got this. I'm one short. No. Alright, I fixed that spot in the roof. And now our boat, as a whole, is basically done. Now I just got to worry about filling deck space and everything underneath the deck. And we should have a fully functional boat. I like the way those look. This is our building. And this is our below deck storage spot. I have not put anything down here yet, but I will. All in good time. See if you come down here. There's another set of stairs that leads you up into the captain's quarters. And if you go up here, there's nothing up here yet. It's going to be a, uh, well, I missed a window. Anyways, this is going to be a control room. That's how you drive the boat. Fix the window. We're good. All right. Now to fill up this deck, we're going to have big stacks of logs. The logs that we don't have growing on the other side of that wall you know like jungle and acacia mangrove and last stack boom got our logs i want some copper and some signs i'm gonna make this look like a pallet of little copper blocks nope all right spam these on there this will kind of look like it's wrapped in wood, like it's bound together, like a pallet. Perfect. And I'm going to take these and these ladders, slap them on here, make it kind of look like these are strapped down or like bundled together. That way you could pick them up with like a crane or something and they wouldn't go everywhere or just fall off the boat in hull. Would be bad. The last one, and all the wood is properly secured. The copper is secured. The deck is full of stuff. I think we have a fully functional boat now. And I didn't want to go with the typical like sailboat, cargo ship kind of thing that you see in Minecraft a lot. I decided to go steam powered. So if you come down here, there's actually a furnace room to generate all the power. That's how we get across the ocean. I know, kind of advanced. But I think that will be where we wrap this one up, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. You all have been super wonderful. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Name those sniffers. Don't forget about it. And make sure you share with a friend. And we will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.